Jets and Buffalo. Now this is a this this actually could be an intriguing matchup from this. You know, Buffalo's supposed to move on. You know, they're, they're going to dominate the division now. It's them, not New England. And um, you know, Josh Allen. Um, I struggled with him at Wyoming when he came out. Based on he had a big arm, but he was very inconsistent with all his throws. That now he. He's a, listen, he's a special kid, though. I, I love the kid, and he's willing to work. And at least if you have that, you have, you have a chance. And he, sparks of that showed up last year. Um, he's, he's another guy. You know, look at Lamar Jackson running the ball so much. I mean, Josh Allen eventually has to do that, too. Transition what I did with my legs to my arm eventually. Or he just won't survive in the NFL long enough. So you're going to have to see that a little bit of that transition with Josh Allen. Um, and be consistent in those throws that matter. And those are oftentimes down the field. Having digs there, um, you know, we're going to see that. We'll be able to see if he's consistent with that. The Jets part of this, you know, Adam Gase there in his second year, you've got you know, Le'Veon Bell coming into his second year. And this is often very true. Um, Donald, you know, too, in his second year with this system. I, I mentioned as a rookie, your second year, you're better. Well, as a free agent, too. It's all new learning. I don't care how long you played in the NFL. I remember we went to the Chicago Bears. Half our huddle was new. But on our first game, we were all going, Venice feels like our rookie year. And just because you played in the NFL doesn't mean you just pick up where you left off. You have experience, but you got a new learning from a philosophy and a, and a teammate perspective and a coaching perspective. So those things should be behind them. Jets could be an interesting team this year. You know, I give a slight edge to the Buffalo Bills because of the, their overall philosophy, consistency, and the players that exist there. But uh, I think we see an improved Jet team. You know, and I know that make a lot of Jet fans happy out there. And, um, and there's a lot of Jet fans out there going, "Don't say that," because that's what we always expect, and then it's disastrous. So I don't think that's going to happen this year. In fact, that might help the Jets. We didn't have preseason because all the teams that didn't get preseason, so it might help you guys.